Hi everyone, welcome back to another video with Dom. Today we're going to be talking about how to pass your ICAW ACA exams. We're going to start with the first exam you should attempt, which in my opinion is accounting. Accounting is a certificate level exam, which I sat about three years ago now. And at the time they were still giving out paper books. Uh, you can see relatively, it's quite a long book, but most of this is exercises rather than actual content. Accounting is the fundamental underlying certificate level exam which you will use skills from and knowledge from throughout all 15 of your chartered accountant exams. Therefore, unlike some of the other ones necessarily, this one you will find almost all the content needs to actually be learned. When it comes to passing the accounting exam, it is short form multiple choice questions. And in order to pass this, you'll be given four options and you will have to pick the right option at least 55% of the time. So what is the best way to approach this exam? Well, there are three key things that you need to do. Number one, learn the content. Reading through the book at least once, which is now an online book of course, using Biblio, very important and you need to actually learn those skills. I would actually recommend that you look up some guys like Ed Spearer, who I'm subscribed to, and some other guys like the accounting stuff who do YouTube videos on accounting. They're really useful and I'll be doing some videos as well on this just to help you get an idea of it. You don't have to learn the content through the book. The book is teaching you about general accounting skills and these general accounting skills can be learned from anywhere as long as they're relevant to the course. So you can learn double entry through this but you can also upgrade your knowledge with double entry videos on YouTube. I would seriously recommend this and this is how I got through this exam with a pretty good pass rate. Second of all, time management. In the exam you are going to be very time pressured. So in order to get your timings right and to know that you have only this long for a question and when you need to move on and when to spend a little bit longer on a question so that you can think about it. Remember this is a closed book exam so you're not going to be able to check your answers. So you need to think about it for some of the questions and other questions will come to you naturally. So you need to think about what you're doing and work on your time management. You've got to make sure that you leave enough time for you to go back and answer that first bigger question and make sure that all the short form questions you might have read it and then picked the wrong answer by accident with a typo or misclick. It's very important you go back and check your answers and check all the ones that you flagged. You can flag questions in the software. Flagging questions is really useful because you can go back and look at your answers and you can look at the question again and you might find that after a few questions you're reminded of something or another question ends up giving you the answer to the question you weren't certain about. Very important to flag questions and review them and the last sort of give yourself 10 minutes at the end to go back and review these. I'd seriously recommend this if you want a comfortable pass. Third of all, and the most important thing for any ICAW exam, is you have to do question practice. There's a reason why most of the paper book was questions, and it's a reason why there was an entire second book dedicated to just question practice, a question bank. The ICAW certificate level exams are just computer-based exams. They are just revolving huge databases of questions and some of those questions are pretty much exactly what's in the question bank. Therefore you need to be attempting the entire question bank if possible and you can even start skipping out on some of the study manual because you'll pick it up during question practice. Skim through the work until you feel like you've got a good grasp and then dive into these questions. You need to be attempting a mock exam at least once before you sit the exam but I would seriously believe and I seriously recommend to everyone that if you feel confident and you're feeling like you're getting double entry then you should sit the exam as soon as possible. The certificate level exams are very doable for anyone at any level so it's definitely doable and you should get out there and try. Thank you for watching, hopefully I'll see you soon, I'll be doing videos on the rest of the 15 exams which you need to become chartered with the ICAW and for that I hope you stay and watch and please like comment and subscribe